let's talk about what makes up a matter. Have you tried to pound a stone or rock, forming fine sand? Can you further grind the sand into the smallest particle? Sand is matter. Matter is made up of smallest particle called molecule. However, a molecule is made up of a particle called an atom. Molecules are arranged and behave differently in solid, liquid, and gas states. Now let me tell you the arrangement and behavior of molecules in a matter. Matter is made up of molecules. The arrangement and movement of molecules differ in solid, liquid, and gas. The movement of molecules in three states of matter gives its distinct property. The characteristics of solid, liquid, and gas are due to the arrangement and behavior of their molecules. Some solids are hard, brittle, flexible, malleable, ductile, and elastic. On the other hand, liquids have the ability to flow, change into gas, and change into solid. Gas has pressure and has the ability to spread or diffuse and be compressed. Molecules in solid are packed closely together. They seem to move or vibrate back and forth in only one fixed position. The force that holds the molecules of solid is very strong. Their movements is very limited, which is why solids have definite shape and volume. In liquids, molecules are loosely packed and have spaces in between. So, the molecules can roll glide, and take the shape of its container. The molecules of liquid are slightly apart from each other, so they flow freely. The forces in molecules of liquid are not as strong as solid. Molecules of gases are far from each other. They constantly move in all directions. They feel the shapes of the container. The force between the molecules of gas is weak. This explains that gases have neither definite volume nor shape. Now let's talk about the atom and molecules. The smallest particle of matter which cannot be further subdivided is called an atom. Atom came from the Greek word atomos which means indestructible. Each element is made up of one only kind of atom. Silver is an element. It is made up of one kind of atom that cannot be further subdivided. This is the latest model of an atom. Let me tell you about the particles of an atom. The atom is composed of smaller particles, electron, proton, and neutron. An electron is negatively charged particle. A proton is positively charged particle, while neutron is neutrally charged particle. The proton and neutron are found in the nucleus of an atom, while the electron travels in definite orbits around the nucleus. These orbits are in different levels or distance from the nucleus. In 1973, scientists discovered that protons and electrons are made up of particles called quarks. Scientists use a special instrument to study atoms. They use scanning electron microscopes, which can magnify objects 10 million times to study a single surface of an atom 
with a beam of electrons. The number of protons and neutrons that an atom contains identifies the atom of an element. The atomic number of an element tells the number of electrons or protons present in an atom. The atomic mass is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in an atom. To get the number of neutrons in an atom, you may subtract the number of protons from their atomic weight. Well, if you combine an atom all together, they form a molecule. A molecule is still made up of smaller particles called atoms. Each element is made up of an atom. When atoms combine, they form a molecule. Atoms in molecules are held by chemical bond. Take a look at this illustration. It shows that two hydrogen atoms are bonded together in one oxygen atom, forming a molecule of water. A molecule can be a combination of the same kind of element or a combination of different kind of elements.